Good morning, dear kids. I welcome you all to your maths class once again. Children, as we have completed the first exercise of this chapter, which is exercise 3.1, today we are going to start with the next exercise, which is 3.2. In this exercise, we are going to learn about the decomposing of a number. The other name of decomposing is burrowing also. So, there are actually two methods of burrowing. In this exercise, we are going to learn one of the methods and with the further exercise, we will learn the other methods also. So, starting with the very first question of this exercise, which is 3 tenths and 2 ones is equivalent to 2 tenths and how many ones? Children, if you look at the number, initially we had 3 tenths, but then we got 2 tenths. How has this 3 tenths changed to 2 ones? Initially it was 3, but now it has become 2. How it has become 2? By giving one of the number or by adding one of the number. We know a number becomes less when it gives one of the number to the other place. So 3 has become 2 because this 3 has given one of the number to its other place, which is 1's place. So 3, this 3 has become 2. And the 1 that 3 tens has given will be taken by 1's place because tens is followed by 1's. So 1 will go to the 2 1's place and it will become 12 1's. So we are actually burrowing. 2 1's has burrowed 1 number from 3 tens. So 2 1's has become 12 1's and 10's place has become 2 10's. So the answer is 2 10's and 12 1's. So the answer is 12. Likewise, we have 2 hundreds, 5 10's and 8 1's. Initially, we had 2 hundreds, but 2 hundreds later become 1 hundred. So what did what happened to 200 is that 200 has become 100 less. So where has the 100 been gone to? 200 has given one of its numbers to tens place. So this will become 15 tens and this 200 has lost its one number so it will become one number less that means 100. So our answer is one hundreds, fifteen tens, and eight ones. Since it was five tens only, so it has borrowed one number from the hundreds place. It has become fifteen tens. So the answer is one hundreds, fifteen tens, and eight ones. So one hundreds is already written. So what is the answer in the tens place? It is fifteen tens. And no need to change ones place because the answer is still the same in ones place.